Okay, in this video, we're just going to have a quick look at why you might not be able to save images out as JPEGs or PNG files. And we're just going to start off with an example. So we're using a raw file here. It's an RW2 file. And you'll find this for many different things, but this is just to give an example. So it opens it in camera raw. We'll open it up, get into Photoshop. And then usually, obviously, we would have done some edits, but we go to save as. And then you can see here we've got the option for Photoshop and then we open it up and we do actually have the option for PNG in here, but we don't have the option for a standard JPEG. We've got JPEG 2000, but we're missing quite a lot of kind of standard flat image files there. So if we close that and then we'll just do another quick example of uh, kind of like a layered file. So uh, if we do a new canvas, let's make it a bit bigger than that because that's quite tiny. And then if we just fill in the background and then we go to save on the computer, you can see this is what our options should look like. We should have, you know, JPEG, we should have GIF files, we should have um, even on newer versions, WebP. Um, I've done a video about that, I'll link to that. PNG, every, everything kind of there, that's what we should have. But then what you'll find is, like I say, with that raw file, and potentially even with files like this, you know, you create a layered file and then you want to save as, and then you'll see oh, we've got even less options there. We can't even save that out as a PNG. So there's a couple of workarounds to this. Um, the first one is quite a simple one. You can either come to file and save as copy here, or if you do end up in the save as menu, go to here you can see save as copy still there and when you save as a copy you'll always have all the option files so now you can save it as a jpeg you can save it as a png a gif or a gif whatever you want to call it um you've got all of those options and the kind of um the, the reasoning behind that is basically because um any information that Photoshop can't save out into certain image files. It will just basically restrict them. So, you know, where we had the um, the raw file and in this instance, we've got um, two layers. So um, what we could actually do, you can squash them down into two layers and then it, it still kind of just sees that as, as one layer now. So, you know, you've got all the options available here. So you can do that. It's not always something you want to do, but what you'll probably want to do is save this as a PSD anyway, as a layered working file. And then you can just come in, save it as a copy. And then, like I say, you've got all those options there. So you're basically able to just export those simple kind of flat files your jpegs and everything from from those kind of working files um so yeah if you're coming across that that's that's one way out of it the other way again we've got a layered file here or you know we can even open up our um open up our raw file again so i'm just in tabbed view here so um although the tabbed view doesn't look like it's working that's another issue in photoshop um yeah essentially we can come down into depending on what you want to save things out for you can come to export uh file so file export save for web and save for web's always going to save um stuff flat it, with the exception of you can do um you could do pngs with a with a transparency but i probably shouldn't have done that 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 might crash the whole thing now um but essentially you know you're always going to have the option to save out as a as a jpeg or like i say a transparent png there so you, you've got options in um in save for web as well um so you know there's a couple of kind of ways you can go about it save for web really if you want to be saving them as as kind of smaller files so it's not going to work for everything if you want to save this uh image you know as a really nice high quality photo full kind of detail obviously don't use that but if, if you're kind of just saving out little graphics for actual websites and things like that then this can be quite a, a good easy way to just get out and save a jpeg from a layered file so um yeah hopefully that's helped if you've got any questions just drop them in the comments uh, if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe